Hello there and today we are going to discuss about the time history analysis in SAP 2000 software. So we are going to just create a new model here then initialize model as a default here you will choose some units and uh, default materials then I am coming here the 3d frames here I will select this one so I will choose the number of stories as a 10 it is g plus 9 stories uh, structure after that i will choose here number of uh, base and x directions will be 5 here is also 5 and the typical story height is 3 meter and also in x directions and y directions it is 6 and 6 meter coming here so now section properties uh, it is default beams in the columns and beams in columns are here the section properties and beams in columns are uh, called uh, the frame element then i'm coming here to plus sign and add new property so it is i will choose here a steel because it's a steel structure then i'm coming here tube or box as a column i will name it it is column okay here the outside depth is 0.5 also it is 0.5 i will choose the flange thickness as a 0.02 it is 20 mm and also same as the web uh, thickness is 0.02 then uh, i will choose here okay now coming here again for a beam so i will select here still and it is i section here it is beam choose here dimensions for the beam outside height is 0.6 top flange thickness is 0.02 and the web thickness is 0.015 then bottom uh, flange width is 0.5 same as here in the top and uh, here the bottom flange thickness is 0.02 here the fillet radius is zero then i will click ok so i have defined beams in column then i am pressing ok beam and here is column press ok so we have created beams in columns element and this is a steel structure so we will apply here the time history analysis now coming here now i'm coming here to refine the load cases here modify model here i will choose here its vectors or eigenvectors i will just choose the eigenvector then after that maximum number of modes is 20 and the max the minimum is one and the minimum number of modes is one it's clear i will select here the shows advanced load parameters here i will select accelerations and x add then accelerations and uy then other parameters here will be specified by a software then i will press ok then ok again now we will define here the functions the time history functions time history i will choose here from file then add new function so we will define uh, this function here it will be time history analysis time uh, history it is time history analysis here i will browse the earthquake records file that i have downloaded from one of the earthquake a database if you do not know how to get one of the earthquake record watch another tutorial which link is in the description box below browse that file so here is that file like earthquake record in italy so this is the earthquake record which is occurred in italy so i will select here first the earthquake records in x-axis i will select this one then open so this is the earthquake record it is showing that but i will vivid it you can look here as well it is the earthquake record then I'm coming here to show the number of headers to be skipped here one two three four lines to be skipped so I will press so I will put here four uh, then here the number of points per line one two three four eighteen it is five five lines to be per line here five points maximum number of points and here is the time interval so I will just copy this time uh, interval for the time difference so I will just paste it here it is the time interval then press the display graph here so it is showing the time history graph 
for earthquake in x axis from one of the earthquake records which is in Italy so it is earthquake records it is the time history earthquake records in x axis so I will name it x then I will press ok now I'm coming here to define for earthquake y axis I will uh, name it here the time history analysis for y axis then I will browse the same file which is for Italy earthquake records in y axis I will view the file here look here the maximum number of points and the time interval so it is it delayed quick records here you can look here it is about y-axis so I will put this information the number of lines to be skipped one two three four four lines to be skipped here and number of points per line is five one two three four and one is here that's five then here the time interval here is the same time interval I will just copy this time interval and we'll put here then display the file look here it is the time history function for earthquake in y-axis which is from Italy records about y-axis in the previous one was for earthquake in x-axis it is for y-axis then I will press ok so we have defined the earthquake about x-axis and y-axis for this time uh, history function then I will press ok now I'm coming here to define the load pattern here load pattern now I'm coming here to define the load cases here this time will be the load case for time history look here it is time history analysis i will select here the load case type as a time history here and it will be non-linear because the time history is non-linear analysis so now i am coming here to the load type here it will be accelerations and the load name will be u1 and here the function is the time history analysis function about x-axis and the scale factor is 0 0.01 because it is one meter the scale factor according to one meter uh, distance so it will be 0.1 then i will add it and the same i am doing here accelerations and this time is for u2 and the time history for y-axis the same scale factor add and here the number output is 3000 and the time the time let's say it is 0.02 then after that i will press ok or you can choose different outputs and the time step so but i have chose here this um, but you can put another different uh, time and out steps like which was in the file then i'll press ok now i will select here all the supports and will make it fixed joint here i'm coming to the joint restraints and will ma make it fixed restraints apply and ok now i'm coming here to define the load pattern here the load pattern i will put here it is earthquake record x-axis the type is quick and here the code will be american standard american society of civil engineering or you can just choose indian code the turkish code euro code whatever code you are using but i'm using here not the euro code or indian code but i'm using here the american code which is here the American Society of Civil Engineering I will add I will add earthquake in y-axis the type is quick and here is the same code I will add also but I will modify both so it is global x directions wise and eccentricity ratio is 5% here I will choose 1.15 SS and also is one will be 0.51 and here long period transition is 8 and here the site class is B and here the time period is uh, program determined or will be calculated by a uh, program or by this software then I'm coming here and here the response modification factors will be 7 and here the system averse strength is 3 and the deflection amplifications or CD will be 5.5 and occupancy importance is 1 1 is ok then I will press ok the same I will do the modification for earthquake y axis this time global y and 5% eccentricity ratio and here SS is 1.15 and uh, this one is here 0.51 and 
and 8. Here is the site class B and the time period will be calculated by a system. The response modification factor is 7 and uh, our strength is 3. Deflection amplification is 5.5 and occupancy is 1. Then I will press OK and OK again. Now I am going to save this model and will start analysis for these structures and the time history will be performed. Let us save it first. Right here, still structure, time history analysis, save it. Now I am going to start it as analysis after analyzations we will look some results i will just run now it will take some time because it is the nonlinear time history analysis it is like taking some more time you can just start it is animation here different shape like it is in animation look here the displacement about x and y axis and other information and now i am going here to the deformed shapes and I will select here the time history then I will select some time like uh, for example and second so it will be like deformations uh, the de deformations up to 10 seconds time period then I will just select here apply and OK so it is like deformations to 10 seconds like the previous one was very less and here is some more uh, deflections and other values has been changed here you can change this time change for example I will change it to then I will apply so it is like changing again different I will select here 20 seconds different deflection is there so I will make it 10 seconds I will apply and OK now look here the deflection and uh, I will start here the start animation for the 10 second so like it is start animation look here after 10 seconds like it is changing each and every time I will stop animation now I will select this node or any other node here okay now I will select this node or any other node like for example it is node 132 now look here I will select this node or any other node for example this node is uh, number 66 now I will select this joint for example this is 66 number joint or any other joint or point then I'm coming here to the display and show plot function here then I will define the plot functions I am coming here to the joint uh, displace forces add plot functions the 66 number joint at its accelerations and about component is about x-axis then I will press ok so it is joint 66 1 then I will add here the same joint ID 66 joint numbers and accelerations this time for y component and press ok look here it is joint 2 then I will press ok now I will come here the joint 66 1 I will add and here the horizontal plot function is time based then I will press display look here it is the display plot function about earthquake x-axis and all the informations are showing here then I'll press OK again I will remove this ones and this time I will select about earthquake y-axis and the horizontal plot function is time based and I will press display it is about the display plot function traces about y-axis and here is the peak accelerations about y-axis so it is for accelerations the same I will do here this time de define plot functions about here the joint displays forces here add plot functions this time will be for displacement here I will select the displacement previous was accelerations this time displacement I will select the component type will be UX or x-axis I will press uh, sorry joint 66 okay the same I will do here for Y the displacement 66 number joint and displacement UY y-axis press OK then ok again now i will remove this was for accelerations i will select it is for accelerations and two this is also for accelerations joint 66 uh, and minus three it is for displacement about x-axis then it is time based i will display so it is acceleration displacement 
about x-axis look here the plot function traces for time history analysis for joint for this joint about x-axis ux the same i will do here remove this one choose here the displacement about y-axis choose the horizontal plot function time based and show look here it is the displacement about y-axis look here the displacement and you can just find information about the peak displacement here it means when the structure with these buildings placed in one of the earthquake so this kind of displacement will be showing there so if we are done with display plot functions about x and y axis for accelerations and displacement so i press ok now i will just remove this once if you want to create some video about accelerations like the plot functions displacement and accelerations then you have to save it here uh, so I will select here the accelerations add and I will save it here it is for acceleration add then I will press ok then ok and make it done so we have saved this display plots then we will create it is video about acceleration create a video create multi step animation video i will save it this uh, so for stress structure time history video then i will press save it is the time history and start time zero for 60 second time increment it is 0.0024 or you can just select other time also and here the frame per second and it is okay for accelerations name set acceleration if you have saved for displacement as well like you can just select here the displacement so uh, graph select the show graph you can select for accelerations if you have saved before for displacement the same as we have done for accelerations you can select here for displacement as well then okay so it is showing here when the displacement it is changing the earthquake is there the building is like it is showing different deformation for accelerations look here it is changing the graph here look here like it is coming and it will reach to the peak accelerations look here the building is also changing like when earthquake occurred the building deformation like it is vibrating up and down look here it is the earthquake record and the time increment like it is 0.0024 you can just change another time increment like the building or structures will show the different response for the earthquake so here the structure is checking or vibrating as an earthquake so we can do for both directions x-axis and y directions and you can just look for both type checking of the structures like when from which side earthquake is coming like it is about x-axis and y-axis and you can just create uh, it is video so you can just cancel it because uh, it is uh, taking some time to say the plots and these kinds of video about uh, earthquake in x-axis and y-axis so you can just cancel or you, you just wait a while to save this video so for your better understanding and better results so this video is also near to complete like it has been completed look here some recommendation are there so you can just select recommendation or you just press ok the video will be saved in your specified location so we have done the time history analysis for this steel structure and we have defined and explained each and everything and finally we have created the plot functions display the plot functions video about x-axis and y-axis for accelerations and displacement as well then last do not forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving the quick notifications if you have any questions and problems you can write it down in the comment box then have a wonderful time bye bye